hello guys welcome back to my channel the beautiful stitches i love you all i'm glad you're here with me if you are new to this channel you're very much welcome i love you please before leaving click the subscribe button and touch the notification bell to always get notified anytime i upload my videos all right today we are going to be making a simple culture gown as you can see my fabric is on fold i've already folded my fabric the front and the back bodies and i want this design at the middle to be at the center front and center back okay that is why it's called a culture material from the design you see there is a culture material so let's impute our vertical measurement okay from my shoulder to my waist is 15 and the hips is 22 okay okay let's go down to the full length the full length of my gown is 39 okay and i'll be marking 40 that's one inch for folding allowance okay let's mark out 40 for folding allowance let's draw it out into a horizontal line okay All right, let's impute our neck measurement and shoulder measurement. Our shoulder is 15. 15 divided by 2 have 7.5. Okay, so I'll be marking 7.5 here. Then I'll come, um, I'll also mark my 3 inches standard neck measurements. All right, then add the 7.5 inches. Remember, I'm, I will not be cutting out the armhole, so I'll be adding extra inches. I'll be adding 6 inches to the normal shoulder measurement. The arm will be extending forward. Okay, so I have 13 inches there. So now I'll come down by 1.5 inches at the 13 inches point. And then connect it to the 3 inches neck measurement. Okay just the way i'm doing it all right then at the one inch slope uh, shoulder slope i'll impute my armhole measurement my armhole is 8.5 but i'll be measuring out nine inches because i don't want it to be too tight on my client's arm so let's connect it from there that is where I will be forming the arm hole. Okay. And let's also connect it down to the center front. Just the way I'm doing it. Okay. The next thing we'll do now is to impute our bust measurement. Our bust is 34. 34 divided by 4. We have 8.5. And I'll be adding 1 inch seam allowance because i don't want it to be too tight it's a free culture gown okay so we have okay for the waist we have 29 29 divided by 4 we have seven and quarter okay plus one inch is and one inch seam allowance okay remember it's a free gown for and for the hips, we have 36. 36 divided by 4, we have 9. 1 inch for ease and 1 inch for seam, uh, seam allowance. Okay. Let's go over to the hem of our gown. At the hem, whatever we we'll measure the hips. So whatever we have on the hips, we'll subtract 1 inch from it and then impute it at the hem of our gown okay so at the hem we have 11 inches okay let's measure it out we have 11 inches minus one inch okay so we impute 10 inches on the hem of our gown so let's impute 10 inches okay 
remember i want it to come in a little that is why we are imputing 10 inches if you want it to be straight you can leave it at the same hip measurement all right so let's connect our gown we connect from the armhole at the upper bust line down to the hem of our gown i'll be doing the free hand connection okay so let me connect it with my hands okay as you can see our gown has already taken a very beautiful shape all right okay so at the armpit region remember we'll not be cutting it straight so what we do now is to go up by one inch however you want it one inch 1.5 or two inches but i'll be going up going down by one inch and then connect it down to the side of the gown connect from the armhole down to the side making a little curve all right as you can see that is where we'll be cutting now so we'll cut from the armhole all right then going over to the we'll be adding half inch on the shoulder line okay that is that is our seam allowance we'll add half inch round okay okay and connect make sure your line is straight okay on the loop and then at the neck region i'll be coming down by one inch at the back for the back neckline and then for the front neckline i'll be coming down by three inches okay remember there will be a slit a three inches slit also at the front so i'll also mark it out then i'll connect connect the back neckline this way and also the front neckline remember we we'll have a three inches slit in the front our gown will not be having a zipper okay so let's cut it out all right this is our gown as you can see looking very beautiful and the shapes the design on our culture gown is just the way we want it so on the neck region we're going to cut out the facing for the neck all right let's cut out the facing for the front neck so we'll place our fabric on another fabric trace out the neck line and then measure three inches around the neck line and remember at the neck depth we'll be adding three inches slit so we'll be marking more than that three inches at the neck depth so that when we make our slit we can turn it over okay so let's mark out our three inches measurements round. That is the point of our slit. So I'm marking out six inches at the neck depth. So we'll be cutting our three inches slit. Okay. That is the six inches. And then let's mark out three inches round from the shoulder down to the neck depth and connect okay all right here is our facing for the front neck line so what to do we place it right side facing right side and then we we'll stitch over remember our slits will also be there So, 
this is how it will look like after stitching and we'll turn it around so let's cut out for the back neck line we also place our fabric on fold place the neck the back neck line on the fabric and trace out just the way we did for the front neck line after tracing also we remove and measure out three inches round okay so let's measure it out three inches round and cut this is for the back neckline okay this is how we're going to place it remember we we'll place right right side facing right side and we we'll stitch and turn it over okay let's cut out the pocket for our gown for tutorial on how to draft out a pocket and also on how to attach a side pocket visit my channel the beautiful stitches and you will see our, the tutorial on how to draft a pocket and also i will drop the link in the description box so that you watch the full video and also learn how to attach and cut a pocket for your gown top and skirts all right so we've cut out the pocket this is the pocket for our gown. Remember, right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.